My talk is going to be about um, processing the data from the James Webb Telescope. Um, I've got a background in astronomy. Um, while I'm a sort of a Java geek during the day, uh, one of the things I love doing is uh, working in astronomy at night. Uh, during COVID, bought myself some uh, telescopes and a lot of new camera gear and uh, started working on that. And of course, to process the data, um, there's, there's a lot of it. And uh, I got into using Java to do that. Um, and eventually, unfortunately, Java's uh, perhaps not the perfect language for this, but um, there's a lot of tooling out there. But um, there's, there's some amazing things you can do now with uh, very, very uh, narrow band filters uh, with some of the new technologies uh, in the camera side. And uh, interestingly, all the data from uh, the James Webb Telescope and the Hubble Telescope are actually available uh, online. You can download them and process them. So the talk will be about some of the complexities we have of um, astrophysics in central London uh, that applies to pretty much anywhere in the world. Processing the data um, using these narrowband filters which let very, very small amounts of light in very specific wavelengths through. Um, and then layering the data, processing it, um, and extracting some information out of that data. Uh, the James Webb Telescope um, photographs in infrared. Um, and that data is not visible uh, to the human eye. So what you can effectively do is assign this to different uh, wavelengths uh, in the, on the visual spectrum and create these um, new images. And hobbyists, amateur photographers, etc., are downloading this data from the James Webb Telescope um, and actually layering the various different filters and data, and they are making discoveries out of this. So this is something that literally anyone can do. I'm going to go through uh, some of the problems, the mathematics, uh, explain how that works in the talk. So there'll be a little bit of maths behind it, um, quite a lot of physics, quite a lot of astrophysics, and we'll get onto some of the processing problems as well as we go through the talk. So hopefully you'll enjoy the talk and um, let's uh, hope we get some more astrophysicists out there. <laughs> 